In this new unit that we're starting, now that we finished up our Sir, du or our Sir Gus stories, we are going to be starting off by talking about the difference between fiction and nonfiction. Fiction stories are, for second grade, a lot of our favorite stories. Fiction stories are the stories that are made up, make believe things couldn't really happen. Nonfiction are true stories. So when we're thinking about fiction stories, a lot of the things that we can think about that we like, uh, talking animals, can't really happen. Uh, animals that act like people. Uh, things like uh, futuristic robots. Aliens, monsters, those kinds of things. Um, again, all things that would be not possible to happen. Again, these are a lot of our favorite stories. Uh, the Cat Bandit story that we read earlier this year. Um, your Dogman books that you like to read. A lot of things are fiction, made up stories. Other stories, nonfiction, are the true things, facts and information. When you read about history, like we're going to do with the War of 1812, which is what we're going to be talking about, reading about, that is nonfiction. Uh, biographies. These are stories usually about famous people, but it could be about anybody. Uh, when you're reading science information, if you're gonna read about chemistry, or some other form of science, uh, an atlas, and most of us don't use an atlas anymore, but an atlas is a book of maps. Most of us don't need this anymore because we have Maps on our phones that can get us where we need to go. But in the past, there are giant books that contain maps, and those maps are true. So, newspapers would be nonfiction. Um, many websites, the websites can kind of go in both. Uh, we go to websites to look for information, especially when we're, when we're doing projects, but we have to be careful about the websites that we get our information from because not all of them are nonfiction. Dictionaries. Uh, thesaurus. And a thesaurus is a word that has uh, synonyms and antonyms in, in it. It's kind of like a dictionary, but when you look up a word like cool, you would find a bunch of words that mean the same thing as cool and some words that mean the opposite thing as cool instead of finding out what the word means like you would in a dictionary. So we got all of these would be nonfiction. These are all true things. Over here, we have just a small list of some of the things that are fiction or made up. You guys could continue and make an even bigger list, I'm sure, as you went along. But the story that we're going to read now is going to be nonfiction. We're going to hear more about the War of 1812 as we go. Today, we're going to start off with a story that I'm going to read to you. It's mostly just sharing facts. <laughs> 